Hey everybody, it's Alice. Welcome back. I have a Dollar Tree haul for you guys. And I don't normally have my, um, I don't have my normal blanket with me. I'm using Peter's blanket today. This is his car's blanket that he's had since, I think he was one. And he is now eight years old, going on nine in a couple of months. So he's had this guy for a very long time, but I'm in his room today, so I thought I'd just go ahead and use his blanket. I'm pretty sure he wouldn't mind. But I have a pretty big Dollar Tree haul, and I want to get right into it. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you everything that I found. Now, most of these things that I'm going to show you first are repurchases and then a few new items. But I want to go ahead and just show you the things that I enjoy purchasing. The first thing is the... Fabric Freshener by LA is totally awesome, and I like the one in the lavender scent. You get 33 fluid ounces. This bottle works great. It lasts a very long time, and it smells really nice, and I spray everything in the home with this, even the closets, and sometimes even the shoes. This is a repurchase, the Salon Selectives. They used to have the really big bottles, but I haven't seen them for a while, but I did get the volume body shampoo and it is enriched with lemongrass and it's 16 fluid ounces and it is a color protect paraben free and then i got the salon selectives conditioner enriched with biotin and it is 16.1 fluid ounces <clears throat> it says boost boosts fullness and body and it is sulfate free so that's just a repurchase there. And then I was really shocked to see Suave Shampoo and Conditioner. They had two different scents. Um, but I only got the coconut because I really love the Suave Coconut. This you can find at your local um, like big box store. Like they sell this everywhere. But to find it at Dollar Tree, I've never seen the Shampoo and Conditioner. I do see body wash but not Shampoo and Conditioner. So I got the coconut, and this is 24-hour uh, fragrance, and it's 15 fluid ounces each. So there's that. I did also pick up the Daily Defense Body Wash, and this is the Fresh Rose Essence. It's with jojoba oil. It's paraben-free. Paraben it says free of parabens and silicones. It's a 60% more bonus bottle. And it's 22.5 fluid ounces. It smells really pretty. Lately, I've been getting into, like, the rose scent a lot. So, I thought I'd give that a shot. Me and my girls all share body wash. So, I always have to buy, like, a big bottle. Nothing fancy, but needed more hairspray for the girls and I. This is a Salon Selectives Humidity Resistant Volumizing All Day Extra Hold Hairspray. In 4 ounces. I picked up two of these Glade Cashmere Woods air fresheners. I was using the other brand that they had, and I kept, like, after half the bottle would be used, the little sprayer at the top wouldn't work anymore, so I was wasting half the bottle, half the canister, because it wouldn't come out. So, I'm getting the Glade. This is up to seven hours of freshness, and you get eight ounces in each canister. So, I picked up two. I repurchased the Suave Towel, and this is the scent, my morning, I mean my go-to, Morning Sun, and it is H-E efficient, 15.2 fluid ounces. Just some dish soap, nothing exciting, but I love this scent. Oh, I did pick up two of the conditioners, because we go through conditioner like crazy. I picked this up for the kitchen because my, I don't know if you guys seen my 99 cent store haul way back, like a few videos back, I picked up this little mason jar, um, mason jar soap dispenser and it broke, so I'm kind of bummed out about that, but I'm just going to put this in the kitchen, this is coconut water and mango, 7.5 fluid ounces, and then since most of you know I have a cat, I thought I would pick this up. And I was thinking to put this in his kitty litter. This is the Arm & Hammer Long Lasting Freshness Plus OxyClean Dirt Fighters. 
Pet Fish Carpet Odor Eliminator. It does say carpets, but I'm going to try it out in his kitty litter. If any of you are pet parents out there, I've never put this in kitty litter before. I've grown up with cats my entire life, but I've never used this in kitty litter. So tell me, comment below if you have and if it is um, okay to use in the kitty litter. Because if not, I don't want to... I don't want to make my little guy sick, but I mean, I know baking soda is pretty good for a lot of things, but yeah, I just wanted to try that out, see how well it works as um, an odor eliminator in his litter box. Moving on, I did run out of parchment paper, but I also found this wax paper, and it does say microwavable i have never known wax paper to be microwavable but i thought that was interesting you get 65 square feet and then the parchment paper you get 25 square feet what is the difference between parchment and wax i don't know parchment paper is non-sticky and it's oven safe uh great for Oh, it does say microwavable. So great for microwave and freezer, candy making and baking. And wax paper, great for microwaving, baking and storing. So I'm assuming you can't, I don't know really, what is the difference? Because they can do almost the same thing. Like this one you could put in the microwave, this one you can't. Oh, but you can, it says it right there. They're both microwave safe, they're both oven safe, they're both good for baking. So what is the difference? Comment below if you can tell me what the difference between wax paper and parchment paper. Maybe it's what's used to make the, the paper. Let's see, parchment paper, non-stick, easy cleanup, oven safe up to 400 degrees and no added grease. I don't see anything on the wax paper. Um, doesn't tell me anything here. It just tells me how to use it. Well, anyway, if you can tell me what the difference is. I mean, it's not really a big deal. I probably won't be using, like, a whole lot of this. But we did run out, unless that likes to use it for certain things. So, I just went ahead and got that. I have been... I've always been obsessed with succulents. Growing up, my mother always had succulent plants. And when she passed away... I inherited all of her garden and it's all majority succulent different different types of succulents but every year I've been taking care of them for the past 10 years and I just feel like I need to give them more love so I'm gonna be last year I repl replanted a whole lot of her pl her pots and they're flourishing wow they're doing amazing but I wanted to kind of get a little bit more into succulents and kind of add my own touches kind of like take some of hers and replant them and kind of do them my own so I'm going to be working on that and I picked up this small two pack of the terracotta pots and they already have the holes and if you see my last couple Dollar Tree videos you've seen that I've already started picking up some garden stuff here and there but I also picked up this six pack of what are they planter saucers so you just put your you know ter or your pots um, the ones that you need to hold a lot of water, you put that, that's what this is for. I also picked up a bag of the white rocks, stones. I picked up a bag of the black pebbles. They had some of these at the Target dollar spot, but it was like in a little jar and it was like half the size for a dollar. And I knew that Dollar Tree carries sand. So I only picked up, at Target, I picked up like a little jar of pink because I don't think Dollar Tree's ever carried pink sand when I picked up the black and Dollar Tree also had like blue white and I want to say like purple or something like that but um this is the one I got I got the black and is that it for the garden items I believe that's it for now for the garden items so I'm gonna start working on that as soon as spring rolls around and it stops raining because then I can go out there and have a lot of things to fix in the backyard Peter was with me, so he picked up a new cologne. This is the Prism Black. Uh, it says our version of Polo Black for Man by Ralph Warren. This is Prism Black. He has this one before, and he really likes it a lot. 
So I let him choose another one because he was running low. I did pick up this one pack of these little Easter eggs. They are like a plastic egg, but they come in this little carton. I thought that was really cute. I'm not going to take this apart. I'm going to leave it as is and use it as decoration. I picked up some of these antacids because I've been getting a lot of like... I don't, I don't know, I've just been getting a lot of like heartburn lately. I don't know if it's because I'm aging or what, my body's changing, but this is the Assured brand compared to Tums. I've had these before and they work really great. You get 60 in here, calcium carbonated, 500 milligrams. So, picked up that. All right, let's see. Hmm. I also picked up these fabric treat sacks. You get four, it includes the twine ties. I'm going to be putting something in here for my kids. I'm not sure what, but I'm going to be using these. They are getting older, so I'm going to try to um, switch up the idea of an Easter basket and kind of make it into something different. Like for my girls, I'm thinking of buying them like maybe like a cute little backpack and stuffing that with other Easter goodies. And then my son, the same, like a toy bag and stuffing it with Easter goodies. And then my oldest daughter, she's 23. I don't normally buy her Easter stuff, but... I'm thinking of doing the same thing, just buying her like a really pretty purse and then just put some candy, some lip glosses and some things that she likes in there. So that was my idea for that. I'm not too happy or impressed with their Easter stuff this year. I feel like it's all the same repeat and I have so much Easter items. I'm probably not even going to buy any more. I did pick up two more of the lighters because I was out. I'm going to keep one in the kitchen by the stove because I have one burner who just doesn't like to cooperate. I picked up three of the Colgate baking soda and peroxide whitening, 60% free. Although I was kind of upset. It said 60% free, 60% more free. Um, this is already a four ounce package. So do they jip me? Because look at this. That does not look like 60% more. I was expecting like a long bottle to be the length of the package. So I was really upset about that. This is four ounces. I was hoping that it would have been a longer bottle, like maybe five ounces, but whatever, it's Colgate. I did wind up buying three of those, so we need toothpaste. I did get two packs of the jelly beans. And these are by the Coastal Bay Confectionery. Put that, putting those, going to put those in the kitchen. These I'm going to be using in the bathroom because I've been having to, um, since the kitty litter box is in the bathroom, it gets pretty full pretty quick and it gets pretty heavy. And the other Dollar Tree bags, I'm having to double up on them. So I, I started using kitchen bags, but I don't want to use my good garbage bags for the bathroom. So I decided to buy this pack. And use these specifically for the bathroom garbage bag. They are 13 gallons. I don't have a 13 gallon garbage can in the bathroom. But I figured this will be good enough. Because um, you know kitty litter. You're not supposed to dump it in the in the toilet. You have to scoop it and throw it in the trash. And it starts to get really heavy. So I'm going to be using these for the bathroom. Picked up a box of the fabric. Um, what are they? The um, fabric fresheners. What are they called? Dryer sheets. These are by Breezy Sun Kiss Fresh, and they smell so good. Oh my gosh, I love the way these smell. Mm. Oh my gosh, if you guys could smell this, it's like waking up to a nice sunny day, and all the flowers are blooming, and you could just like you're walking into a garden. Oh, this smells so good. Sun Sky Fresh, and you got 55 in here with Iron Ease. Soften, reduce, and static cleaning freshens. Um, you guys, these smell so freaking amazing. I love these. And I've never had any issues with these in my dryer or anything like that. I picked this up because I'm doing a pocket litter. And it's a Disney Mickey Mouse theme. And I'm going to be sending this out as um, one of the goodies for my pocket letters. I thought this was really neat. Peter was with me. And he's like, get it, Mom. This is a frozen treat. Frozen summer treats. And it just has <clears throat> all these ideas that you can make in the summer. 
frozen hot chocolate pops, striped peanut butter and jelly pops, strawberry lemonade pops, chocolate hazelnut pops. I think this would be fun for the kids. We can pick a couple and just like go buy all the recipe items and then they can kind of make their own little treat. So this would be nice as like a, if you're doing like a gift basket or like a fundraiser basket, you can buy this and then buy some like little popsicle sticks and like wrap or um the little sil silicone containers freezer containers and just make like a little basket of frozen goodies i don't know i like it it's cute okay i picked up a new brush for my vehicle because it seems to be always going missing i wanted the smaller version but they only had this big one so i went with that Pick up another one of these because the two that I had were out. No commentary needed. I did pick up one of these for me to snack on. And it's a Russell Stover 4 pack coconut filled dark chocolate. I did pick up. Oh, my son is working on his race car for Cub Scouts. So he needed a new sanding stone. He got that. I got these as a treat for Simba. I want to start teaching him some tricks. So I got that. Just needed another pack. Really no commentary needed for that. I wanted to purchase a new one because I was not about to clean the one that's there. It's just, no, not going to do it. So I bought a new one. And then, I did find this. I kind of have a feeling I have this one already, but I'm not quite sure. And I only found this one. I walked, I should have took a picture, but when I walked into that store, I overheard the manager say, did you see the book aisle? And another co-worker's like, no. And then they both walked over there, and she's like, oh my god, who did this? He's like, I did it. I had never seen that book aisle so organized and so neat. Like, I didn't even want to touch the books. And they were so, it just looked so nice. Like, when Dollar Tree employees take the time to fix the book aisle, you know they like their job. Because if you go into Dollar Tree and you know those book aisles are not cute. Yeah. Anyways, 4-in-1 advanced activity book. You get spot the difference, color by number, dot to dot, and regular coloring. Just a sneak peek. Of what you get that's that and then I want to get into some of the candles that I found I'm loving these jars right here all right let's go ahead and get into these so these three that I got with the mason containers by old Williamsburg I got the watermelon lemonade the marshmallow <clears throat> lavender and I got the peach bellini so I will be saving these for spring and then you can reuse the little jars really adorable and then I picked up the look at the container on that is so beautiful this one is citrus sandalwood and I like the little, like, pack, um, the little ribbon top there. What's it called? The little packaging? It's pretty. And this is, I'm trying to see what brand it is. Give me a second. Oh, this is a green bar brand. This is a Dollar Tree candle. It smells really soft. This is also Dollar Tree brand. I like this little, what's it called? I don't know, popcorn container. This is blushed white wine. Oh, it smells so good. It smells like a spa room. So those are the candles that I got. This is some of the stuff that I purchased. I'm going to move all this out of the way and show you guys the last bag of goodies that I have. And then we will be done. So I have the last bit of my haul, and I didn't realize that most of it was food items. 
But that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and show you the items that I like to repurchase and then a few new items that I found. I love getting... Excuse me. And I put this thing down because I just feel like you can see the items better. But I love getting the snack packs at Dollar Tree. You get four for a dollar. And these ones are sugar-free. So I can throw these in my husband's lunch. I can throw them in my lunch. Um, but they are sugar-free. And you get two strawberry and two orange. So I picked up two packs of these. You guys know Peter likes his Pop-Tarts. So he picked the Frosted S'mores. And you get six pastries. So there's three packs in here with two um, Pop-Tarts each. This was something that was on my shopping list, and I didn't know that you can get it at Dollar Tree. This is the apple cider vinegar. I've been using this as a, I had started doing like a cleanse, but my apple cider vinegar was old, so I had to dump it out, and I just hadn't um, repurchased any, and I was actually going to get some at Walmart, and I found some there. So I am going to be using this. This is by Old World Flavor, and it's 32 fluid ounces. And then this isn't anything exciting, but I really like these paper towels from the Dollar Tree. They are strong and absorbent. They are very comparable to a big brand name, or any big brand name, really. You get 100 sheets in here, and um, yeah, I, I really like this paper towel pack. Um, as you can see, this lasts quite a while, and I like to just purchase. If I were to buy, let's say I get, I can go through like, maybe four of these a month so that's what, like four maybe five five dollars a month for a pack of these whereas i would go to dollar uh not dollar Tree, maybe like walmart and buy like their name or their cheap brand and you would you would pay like four bucks for like a three pack and i would go through that and maybe like half the time so i would wind up paying double and i i'm comparing that because i purchased those before and that was a pack that i used to purchase until i started getting up from Dollar Tree and I actually enjoy these a lot better so that's the reason why I'm showing you guys these paper towels name brand isn't always the way to go you really have to just find what works for you and I mean if name brand works for you then that's awesome but for me and my family I don't care about name brands I could care less about name brand I want to know what is the quality behind what I'm purchasing and if the quality just happens to be the off brand or the store brand or the cheaper brand then that's what I'm going to get for my money because we are a family of six and I try to make my money stretch as far as I possibly can so another item that I love to purchase from the Dollar Tree is this Continental Chef Brownie Cake Bar Mix with Semi-Sweet Chocolate Drops. Maybe I'll do a review on these one, one of these days. I love repurchasing this. You, we usually use the, um, what is it, the uh, 9 by 9 pan, the little glass pan. And these brownies are so good. They're so decadent. And they're, they come out pretty thick and they are so good with some hot cocoa or some coffee or with some ice cream. I love buying this and you get a lot of product in here. This is 14 ounces. So maybe one of these days I'll do a review. Maybe have like a, a cooking, um, let Lisette do a video where she's cooking it and then we'll do a review on them afterwards. So I'll keep that in mind. Another one of my favorite purchases from the Dollar Tree my favorite 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 all-time favorite purchases is the Jolly Time yellow popcorn um, this is non-gmo project verified it's high in fiber 100% whole grain and it's gluten free this is the yellow uh, popcorn so you get this huge bag of popcorn and on the back it's it tells you the nutrition facts here um, the reason why I didn't need another bag, but the reason why I picked up another bag was because I like to stock up on this popcorn whenever I see it. I try to avoid, I never buy microwave popcorn anymore. I have stopped buying microwave popcorn. It's been almost two years now since I've bought microwave popcorn, ever since I found this popcorn. One reason is because sometimes my microwave doesn't work right and the popcorn bags kind of burn and then you're just wasting popcorn. You're, you're using, you know, it's, um... It's it's a microwave, so you're not really getting the full benefit out of your popcorn. Not only that, but sometimes you don't get a lot of popcorn in some of the bags. Not all the kernels pop, whatever. I don't really care for microwave popcorn anymore. Now that I had discovered this yellow popcorn by Jolly Time, um, this little bag here will last, I'm not kidding you, months and months. If Even if you used 
let's say you used this bag every day and made one batch of popcorn every day this would last you like maybe i don't know maybe like a month and a half i'm not even kidding so this popcorn you get a big pan or a big pot like you would cook like a soup and you just layer you do a small layer of a little bit of oil um you know preferably olive oil you could even use avocado oil or regular vegetable oil canola oil whatever suits your fancy put a little bit of oil and then you just layer the bottom with one layer of kernels that's all you need is one layer of kernels i am not kidding when i tell you that a pack a little layer of kernels will fill up a whole pot of popcorn so and then the good thing about it is you can make it to your liking. You can put salt in it. You don't have to put salt in it. You could put any kind of salt you want. You can um, you can add so much. You can make your own like trail mix popcorn. You can do so much with this. So I really, really love this popcorn. If you guys have not tried this, you need to get out there and get yourself a bag and do it. I'm telling you. You can even use it in a popcorn maker. If you have a popcorn maker, even better. Um, but I don't have a popcorn maker. I am the popcorn maker. Um, so I just use a pot. And it does have directions back here. So you don't have to like guess. It tells you right there. That's all you do. Super easy. So one of my favorites to buy. Another one of my all-time favorites. Well, not all-time favorites. But the Scotty's tissue. You got 148 tissues. And it's two-ply everyday comfort. Just needed some tissue paper. And I like that marble effect. That is pretty. That is really pretty. Okay, another one of my favorites, actually, are these crunchy rice rolls. I like the the rolls. They kind of remind me of, like, the bird. If you guys ever owned a bird or if anybody owns a bird, you know those hanging bird feeders that you put in there? Yeah, I used to have birds, so I was constantly with those bird feeders. But that's what they remind me of. Anyway, you get seven rolls in here. 38 calories per roll. Zero grams of saturated fat. Zero grams of cholesterol. Five milligrams of sodium. And these don't expire until 2020. And it has all the nutrition facts in the back. So this is one of my... Okay, so the last couple of things that I'm going to show are these. I kind of already ate them all. But these are the Russell Stover Coconut Filled Dark Chocolate. These are really, really good. I like to get Simba's food from the Dollar Tree. He likes the um, meaty bites. He does not like the pate. So I got him four of the Ocean Fish and Sauce. And four of the chunk chicken dinner and gravy. He really likes these. This is enough for him to do like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So this is basically a one day's worth of food for him. I did pick up four of these. And I'm going to be saving them for the kids' Easter baskets. I decided to go with these pop versions this time. Instead of like the, like the traditional hollow Easter bunnies. Because, I mean... I don't know. It's chocolate. These are by Balmer. Double crisp, chocolatey and smooth, crisp and crunchy candy. So I got one for each of my kids. I got to put these away somewhere safe so that, that way they don't get smushed. And then the last two items that I want to share are these steak cut french fries. I love the french fries and I think this is a great deal. You get one pound for a dollar. These are keep frozen and ready to use steak cut french fries. They do have the shoestring fries, but I like these ones. Now, this is a good size bag. Like, if you're doing hamburgers, for my family of six, one and a half of these is, like, really great. I did buy two bags of those. And then the last item are these Baker's Best Baked Soft Pretzels. Great for snacking, and it does <clears throat> include the salt packet. Now, I will be doing a review on these pretzels. I bought two boxes of these pretzels and we tested out one pack already and they are amazing so i'm going to go ahead and do another re um another pack i'm going to go ahead and do make the other pack this pack and do a review on them so you guys can see i, I don't want to say anything else but yeah so we're going to do a review on these okay and that is it for this dollar tree haul i have about four more hauls to show you guys so i'm gonna put all this stuff away go get finished with dinner and then i will see you on my next video you guys stay blessed have a great day evening whenever you're watching this and i will see you soon love you guys bye